Nikola Tesla once stated that crystals were living beings. It's a subject that fascinates me because I have experienced an interesting phenomena while studying their effects on plants. I was first introduced to the vibrational properties of quartz while attending a music convention in North Carolina. It's for experts in digital and analog musical instruments, but my reason for attending this event was to interview an expert that specializes in sound, light, and electromagnetic field frequency machines. I met with August Worley during Moog Fest to visit the factory that produces Moog musical instruments. August started his professional career as a keyboard technician for the popular musical group Emerson, Lake and Palmer. Well then I formed Emerson, Lake and Palmer and uh, what I would like is, um, is a Moog synthesizer. I had found out that Bob Moog was looking to create another synthesizer and I showed him what I had done for Keith Emerson and uh, he was very impressed and so he had invited me to become his principal engineer at Moog Music. We talk about frequency and waveforms with uh, the kids in our, our program, how, uh, how these waveforms actually feel. What we're going to talk about today is how we make sound. What happens when you add more oscillators, it makes the sound richer. So I'm going to add another oscillator. Sustain how long the sound will stay there, and then there's a little thing on here called release. So notice how the, how the sounds different. This is very mellow. But then as we go to a sawtooth wave, it sounds a little brassier. So you can see they kind of look like a sawtooth. Basically what Bob did was take laboratory equipment out of the laboratory and put it in the hands of the musician. Working at Moog as an engineer with Bob Moog, I approached Bob one day and said, hey, wouldn't it be cool if we could do like an electronic singing bowl? And he thought about it and he said, you should do that. And so that sort of gave me the uh, impetus and sort of planted the seed for me to, uh, to carry forth this idea of what would an electronic singing bowl look like that also incorporated uh, physical vibration and had light associated with it and also did an electromagnetic resonance. There's a physioacoustic transducer at the base of the instrument. The paradigm is a combined sound, light, physioacoustic, and electromagnetic resonance instrument. The crystals come into it because I wanted to have as broad a spectrum of resonant modalities in the instrument as possible. Well, one of the tones in Paradigm, it's actually the third chakra tone, has been found to, uh, to stimulate the thalmocortical loop in the human brain. What that does is uh, the thalmocortical loop actually generates a sync pulse that coordinates all of the, uh, 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 the, the flow and processing between our, our spine and between our, our brain functioning. Why do cats not display the same uh, hip dysplasia and some of the other connective tissue disorders that dogs do. And the answer to that is because they purr. They are little physioacoustic generators and they have an innate ability to, to know uh, how to heal people. They like to climb on people and they, they seem to have an understanding of uh, when somebody's in pain and they go right to that area and they, they purr. The American Veterinarian Association has stated that the reason that cats uh, don't have connective tissue disorders is because they do purr. That's physioacoustic therapy right there. A beat frequency is a difference frequency between two tone generators. So in this way we can use a tone generator that is very close in frequency to another tone generator. The difference frequency will be 10 hertz, 8 hertz, 7.8 hertz. This instrument is designed to resonate the body and by inducing a 40 hertz tone through Paradigm, 
into the human body, you can actually help to stimulate uh, people. Longer waveforms at the bottom of the uh, chakra scale, if you will, and they get shorter as you move up because the human body actually becomes less massive as you move up through the, through the, the chakra system. It takes a longer waveform to, to resonate our, uh, our hips and our big leg muscles than it does to resonate our throat. August Worley's expertise as an inventor, teacher, and service technician of analog music frequency generators has also made him a gifted individual in the repair of electromagnetic medical devices. The same wave shapes that are used to synthesize analog sound to produce different tonal qualities are also used to treat many conditions within the human body. Sine, triangle, sawtooth, square, and pulsed waves from analog music frequency generators are fed to Tesla voice coils. They interact with permanent magnets to produce sound vibrations. For medical devices, flat spiral Tesla coils are embedded into thin pads and are energized by medical frequency generators. Silent electromagnetic fields are evenly dispersed throughout the surface of the mat to treat the entire body. For targeted applications, single Tesla coils can be inserted into pillows and placed on or under areas of the body. Instead of playing a keyboard to change the musical notes, Oscillators inside the frequency generator can be programmed to sweep through the frequencies, or pulse, magnetic fields at predetermined intervals. These fields induce tiny electric fields into the body to regenerate weak or damaged cells and energize healthy cells so they function at their full voltage potential. These frequency machines can emulate the Earth's natural magnetic fields that are vital for our survival. We naturally ground and recharge our body when we walk barefoot through Earth's magnetic fields on the piezoelectric quartz crystal sand. The paradigm vibrates the crystal capstone to activate its piezoelectric effect. When you resonate quartz crystal, a subtle electric field emanates into the air and is absorbed by all living things and other quartz crystals. I decided to purchase a paradigm and a quartz crystal singing bowl to study in our laboratory. That purchase eventually provided me with the missing key I needed to fully understand the healing fields of nature. <laughs>